I'd really like to go inside, um, though I have a funny feeling it's all going to be locked up because obviously there's no services going on at the moment. Let's see. Oh, well, ooh, ooh, ooh. let's see, let's see. Yeah, it's going to be locked, isn't it? Yeah, that's a shame. But we shall come back. We shall come back. So I had come here to show you inside the church and the Slayer's Stone, which is the story of the Dragon Slayer and the Knucker Hole here in Nimister. But of course, due to the COVID outbreak and everything that's going on with all the unpleasantness, that uh, the church is locked. Oh wow, look at that. That's a massive branch come down here. Thanks to uh, Storm Francis that we had the other day. Look at this. Whew, that would have given you a headache, wouldn't it? Wow. Let's see where that's come from. Cool. Looks like it's weaved itself amongst the tombstones. Wow. Yes, so uh, yeah, Mary Magdalene Church, unfortunately, is all locked up. So I'm probably going to have to come back another day and uh, and show you show you the Slayer Stone. I do have a photograph. I'll, I'll try and cobble something together. Uh, so just so I can upload some stuff because I've been a bit lazy and haven't really felt like wanting to go out at the moment. Um, mainly because you can't get anywhere. But we'll have a look around. I don't know what it is about cemeteries and graveyards. They really, they really do fascinate me. Feel at home. Shouldn't do really. I'm not dead. Thankfully. So just pleasant to wander around. It's um it's been a bit weird these last few months, hasn't it? Every, for everybody all over the world, not just here in Britain and everything, but uh yeah, it's nice to be out, even if it is in a graveyard. Just a bit a bit devastated, I can't show you inside the church because it is locked up. Oh, there's a grave there and it looks like it's been opened. Let's have a look. When I say opened, it's not been opened really. But it's just had a bit fall in. Oh, all the stuff's been taken off of it. How very strange. How very strange. Yes, another view of the lovely church. Unfortunately, lots of new graves. I'm not saying that it's COVID-19. People die every day, all day. But there just there seems to be a spate of more and more. I might wander down the little path and see if I can get a view of Knucker Hole for you, which is where the dragon, the alleged dragon, lived. Um, they're pretty. Uh, it is private land now. Last time I came I had to bring a stepladder, which did look funny, I have to say. Um, but let's see. It's along this route. I'm not sure how long this, this is. I'm using my phone because my camcorder I charged up before leaving and as I, as I started recording it said dead battery. And I know it was fully charged, but um, maybe that's something to do with the area I am, because they do say ghosts and the supernatural drain your batteries, so I don't know. Is that true? It certainly was fully charged when I left this morning. There's the lovely fields. If you follow all the way along through there, it will take you to Arundel. A bit of a hike, but... Nonetheless, a nice hike. 
I'm not going to film all of this because it'll be a bit boring for you so I'll go a little bit along and then I will rejoin you once I've got to the area where Nucker Hole is. See you in a second. It's getting narrower. Sometimes you can come through here and the grass hasn't been cut. It's a bit like a fight. Wear long trousers because of the nettles and adders and mice and <laughs> anacondas, but, but not really. So this is the way I came. This is where you can keep walking. Again, narrower and narrower, a bit more boggy. And this is actually the entrance to where Nucker Hole is, but I've tried to look through the gate and you can't, you can't see anything really. I will post up a picture. Yeah. You can, there's a hole there, but that's not Nucker Hole. It's not focusing either. You can just about make out a life buoy or a life belt thing there. Um, Nucker Hole is to the right, but we can't see anything. I'll post up a picture of what I've got. Um, yeah, I'll post up a picture. It's a bit of a shame, but it's private property, that's fair enough. Uh, they've taken it on, but you, you can't see anything, which is a real shame because it's, it's a massive folklore tale here um, about John Puck. I think it's John Puck. So now we're coming back up towards the churchyard. There's a bit here that um, goes off around the back of the church because obviously in the olden days, if you weren't christened or baptised, you were buried outside of the churchyard. You weren't allowed to be carried through it. Uh, thank goodness that doesn't happen today. And the uh, legendary Dragon Slayer's tomb was actually originally in the, in the churchyard here, but it was getting so weather beaten that they decided to bring it indoors. I'll post up that photograph, which is in a blog that I've written, which I will also add to the bottom of the text. But there you, you used to be able to walk behind the church here. It looks a little bit overgrown at the moment. Obviously no work going on. Not until this coronavirus has disappeared, or at least gone down a little bit. I don't think it's ever going to disappear. I think we've got that for life now. But... Uh, yeah, so there's a church from the outside. Let's go back in again. A lovely belfry. It's really lovely inside. They've got stained glass windows with them um, depicting the tale, the story of the dragon slayer and the dragon. Again, in my blog. I shall list it down below. that this morning it was lovely and sunny now it's just a little bit on the choppy side and I think somebody's going to look for something important because they've got numbers so obviously there's a bit of history going on here that I know nothing about another number there I'm going to have to look into this Sussex at any time, anywhere near Limister. Come and have a look at the church. Can't promise it'll be open. But it's nice to have a walk. And you've got all the fields and the water, Arundel from 
farm here if you, were, if you fancy. There is a working farm next door. Sunny day, sit and have a picnic. And there's the road to come down. Quite narrow, but it's not too bad, it's not busy. It's not overly busy. And there's that road that I just walked down. Well, I walked through the churchyard, but you can walk down there, which will lead you to the walkway, which will take you. To the pond, but you can't see because it's private. There we go. There you go, another view of the chair. Goes all the way around the tree, which is pretty cool, really. Of cottages, cottages. I can't speak properly. And there you go. Ooh, time to go home for a nice cup of coffee. I think it's really cold out here now. Right. Well, that was a bit of a shame, but hey, can't hedge it, can you? Um, yeah, I've got all my paperwork here. I'll just give you a really quick read. Um, so St Mary Magdalene Church is situated right next to a working farm at the end of Church Lane, Limister. Uh, decoratively, they frame a wonderfully commissioned stained glass window of the legendary battle between man and beast. This is from my by, no, this is from my blog that I wrote. So if you want to have a read, perhaps I won't read it all because it's just a little bit boring if you've already read it. So um, there is a tomb head known as the Slayer's Slab which is situated inside the church itself. So again, like I said, I'll put a photograph up and perhaps come and visit. Put a couple of quid in the box and uh, have a nice day out. Why not? It's got to be better than sitting indoors watching telly, unless, of course, you're watching vlogs of me, which is really good. Or vlogs, should I say. Not blogs, vlogs. Take care, have a good day. Bye.